It is release day for Winter Survival, this amazing survival game by Drago Entertainment. I'm excited about this game. It's a very, very grounded, very difficult survival game. It's a lot of fun. I enjoyed our brief playthrough with it in early access. I'm excited to check it out here now in the full release, but I want to check out today the endless mode. The story did get a couple updates to kind of change the flow of that to include giving you a little bit more food and stuff like that when you first get started. But I want to check out the endless mode and kind of see what an endless mode would look like in this one. Let's go ahead and check it out. You got story, endless. Eventually, you'll have cold wave, which is like an increasing, like a cold wave coming towards you, and you only have so long to survive, and then they grade you based on how long you survived, and there's supposed to be leaderboards and stuff like that. Very, very cool. You can choose your difficulty when you go into the endless. We can go explorer, survivalist, or we can go customizable. I think we're going to go customizable, but we're going to go explorer. So we're going to start with the easier of the two. And then we can adjust it from there. I, I, let's, let's go with that. The biggest changes that happen when you go between Explorer and Survival is the amount of health that wolves and boars have. So if you go way down here, you can see wolf health multiplier is 45% of what it normally is or 100%. Same with jump attack damage, throat attack. Same with the boar, light attack, and charge damage. So that kind of gives you an idea. There's also, if you go Explorer, it also gives you an auto impale option. I don't know if I like that, but... We're going to start it for right now. I've, I mean, I'm not real good at this game, so I think this is kind of the better way to go with it. So we're going to go Explorer mode. Let's do it. Okay, so it's asking, what happened? Home. Nothing permanent, but I need shelter. Nothing. Everything feels fine. Exploration awaits. Oh, these are the different difficulty things. This is well done. So what happened? We've got home. Nothing permanent, but I need shelter. Everything feels fine. Exploration. Sickness. I ne neglected my cold, and without medication, my health is deteriorating, and I don't remember. My memory plays tricks on me. Please tell me what happened. And then eventually, the bear. So w I guess we'll just start with the top one. I don't really know. We'll go home. Nothing permanent, but I need shelter. Equipment condition. Uh, we'll start. Good. My gear gave me plenty of time to execute my strategy. When did it happen? Morning, evening, night. I don't remember. Let's start in the morning. Get it early in the day. How was the weather? It was actually clear. What does this picture depict? Uh, I really don't know. Oh, that looks like a wolf face, doesn't it? Right there? I think it's a wolf face. I don't know. But so this is Winter Survival Endless Mode. The release, like I said, was today, so this game should be available on Steam right now. Definitely worth it. If you already had the game, it did have a little bit of a, a large update today as well. Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. So I've this one... Here too long. New Quest Cave. Oh, wow. Oh, this is totally different. Okay. So collect resources from the cave. Let's go ahead and take as much as I can. Take All as much right. as I can. Now... Can I also get... Okay. Uh, we got a hammer. Small wooden chest. Transfer all. Alright. Rope. Tinder. Interesting. So this starts you off with quite a bit of stuff. Thatch foundation. Check that out. That's it. It's time got everything. Anything else inside of here? Nope. Take that. Uh, owned containers? No. Okay, let's actually leave that. It's very dark in here without it. So we'll get that restarted. Alright, so let's see exactly what we're doing here. It looks like inside here we have the loom, and we have a fabric bed, and a little thing here. But we are stuck inside this cave. Can I make a torch? Go crafting. Small torch. I'm missing tall grass. Okay, so no torch. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're going right there anyway. Not Don't really need much light. Okay, I definitely hear a wolf. Not good. Alright, can I at least get these things equipped? Need that on my one slot. Need that on my two slot. Put that on the three. Oh, it's a skinning knife. You don't have to put it on anything. And then we'll put the water over there. Okay. Just in case. I don't know if we can actually attack with the axe or not. Let's start with the foundations. Alright. Suggested location. I passed by an interesting spot yesterday. My own location. I need to look around for a suitable place. 
Well, let's do... I passed by an interesting spot yesterday. Okay, so we got a spot right over there. There's also a building there. I don't know if this is the same map as the story mode. I assume it is. This game is a big mix between Long Dark and Green Hell. I really like the aesthetic of it, too, so we'll keep checking it out. We've been playing other survival games all day, so it might take me a minute to get back to the buttons again. But we'll at least get rolling on all this. Figure out how we're going to put this stuff down and build our first house. It's definitely cool looking. All right, keep gathering. They did a good job on the water effects. All right, so it looks like we're building right here. All right, put the foundations in the suggested area. So go to the inventory. All right, like this. All right, one. And then let's do the other one. Okay, and they snap together. Nice. We need six total foundations. Let's see if we can make a couple more foundations. Craft, base, and foundation. Thatch, foundation. I need a little bit of logs. Let's chop down some trees. Make sure we're gathering. Awesome. It's early morning, so we got plenty of time. We should be able to get a couple things done before things get crazy. But I'll restart this again later and try see how much different it is if we if we choose the other options and see what the if the starting is the same area or how that works. And go finish this tree off. Awesome. I don't remember if it's one that picks up automatically or if we've got to pick up logs after. Does it there you go. I wasn't sure if it did that or not. Uh soft log. There we go. Come on. All right, and then we need to go to crafting again, which I think is the V button. So for that, I need log chunks. So can I go like this? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Put those there. Chop. Aha. Okay, new adaptation level. Nice. Get those. Okay, sleeping in the wild. Okay. Come on. All right. So V button. No. B. C. No. I thought there was a quick key to get to that, but I'm not sure what it is. All right. Let's go ahead and craft another one of these. One. Two. Is that it for right now? I think that's it for right now. Let's go chop down some more. The music's pretty nice, too. I really want to explore this little spot over here. But let's chop down trees first. Stay focused. This is where we get in trouble in every survival game we play. But let me know what your guys' thoughts on this are early on. I think it's a really good survival game. I think it's got a lot of promise to it. It really depends kind of where they go with it in the future. Uh, kind of how they update it and continue to work on it. I hope that they continue to improve a lot of these things. It's a pretty neat game. Alright. Wait for that. Come on. Do the thing. Go ahead and chop you up. I'm surprised you don't have to actually chop it. That's kind of a weird way to do it. No, go like that. All right, fill that up. I don't know if that all dropped from the tree as well. Come on. Get that. Get that. Looks like something that should pick up, but it doesn't. Pick up all the branches. All right. Anything else out here? Okay. We need two more foundations. Like that. Uh, is that really it? We are short... 10 branches. Okay, we need branches. Can I chop these? No. These ones? Okay, I guess we're just looking for the small ones like these. We get four from each one of those. Okay. All right, go up here and grab these. Turkey tail. Okay. Anything else over here? I think that's it. Hopefully the respawn rate on that stuff is decent. Let's go ahead and go back to this one. Crafting... Uh, we still need more branches. Dang it. Okay, a little bit more gathering. Branch. 
Don't see anything over here. We'll grab some of these. There we go. Another new adaptation. We'll check that stuff out here in a little bit once we get finished up here. Get these. Wolf Aftermath. Okay. Nothing else there. Seems like a decently safe little area, though. Don't worry. I'll find a new use for you. <laughs> Abandoned ruins. I feel like we could definitely use that instead of building our own, but that's fine. Get that. Get those. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Can I actually... I wonder if I can... Interesting. Oh, here we go. I'm going to grab all. Okay. Can I pick these up if we wanted to? I don't know. All right, let's go one more craft, one more. Boom. Huh. All right. That wasn't as difficult as I imagined. Nice. Now we need thatch door frame, thatch window, now thatch wall, thatch wall slope right, left, thatch roof, wooden door, and thatch window. So quite a bit of stuff. All right, I'm going to chop for a few minutes. Let's do this. All right, we had to craft our first axe. Super easy to make, so that wasn't a big deal at all. Let's see if we can make a couple of the things that we need. I don't know how much we need of everything. We're going to need quite a bit. Uh, we might be okay. I don't know if it requires the logs like the other one does. Got a new adaptation. We're flying through the adaptations, probably because of the level that we're on. All right. So we need door frame, seven walls. Let's go like that. Need seven walls. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that it? <laughs> There's six. We just need more branches. Always more branches. Okay, we're jumping the gun a little bit, but I want to go ahead and get a loom down. Even though there's one back there in the area, I wanted to get one down out here because we're going to need it. So we got that down. Still working on a ton of branches. I think I need just a couple more for the doors. So let's keep chopping down. Okay, we got another one. Cooking in the wild. We keep unlocking things, which is good. Unfortunately, it's about to be nighttime, and we're definitely hurting a little bit temperature-wise. It's going to start getting really cold. All right, I think I have enough to build the other window frame. I'm slowly working through it, but it is going to get very dark. Uh, oh, we need rope. I think I can make... Yeah, I can make rope. Make a few of those, and then that one. All right, the other one we need... For the bigger one, I need large branch. And then we need the sloped one, same thing. So large branches now is kind of the big hold up real quick. I was wondering if I could use this stuff. Aha, I can actually break this stuff down to make my own. So you right click the hammer and then you can go into breakdown mode and we can get a ton of supplies from all of this, perfect. Make sure I get all of it before it falls down. Hammer's probably going to break in a second. That's fine. Nice. Okay. Can I make a new hammer? Craft. Axe. Hammer. There you go. There you go. Wait for the hammer to be made. There it is. Okay. Repair mode. Dismantle mode. That would have been really easy had I realized that early on. We would have spent way less time chopping things down. Look at the amount of large branches I got. That's exactly what we were missing. All right, it's about to break, so we're just going to finish this last one up. Okay, we're broken again. Hurry and get a door. Craft door. Okay, and then we need to go craft slope left and slope right. One. Okay, and two. And then craft slope the other way. How do we flip it? Um, I'm not 100% sure. 
So just do it like this. Do it like that. Nope. Okay. And then we need craft the actual roof pieces. Thatch roof. One, two. We need more. All right, first night's sleep. There we go. We came back in here to do this. I was wondering if I could break these down. That's what we came back in here for. We decided to go ahead and sleep through the night since we were in here. Oh, geez. Did I just lock myself in? Nope, we're good. Thought we'd have to stay in there. Okay, I'm out collecting grass, and then we'll finish up the base. New adaptation level. Didn't say what we got. We just got a new adaptation level. Okay. We'll have to check that out soon. Looks like sleeping overnight respawned most of this stuff. A lot of the stuff is back again. I must find oh. Food. We're dying of food. Hold on. My bad. Okay. I think I have a couple of things I can eat. Eat some blueberries. Eat some more blueberry. Okay. There you go. That took care of a little bit of it. All right. Finish up the roof here. Craft. And roof. Okay. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> we need two more roofs, a door, and two windows. Okay. Last two roof pieces. We got enough for a door, hopefully. All right, thatch window. One and two. And then we got, last but not least, the thatch door. Thatch door. What could one there you wish go. For more? There you go. New event fire. unlocked. <laughs> and a bed. All right, we need a fire. I think we can make a fire pretty easily. I assume it's okay to have a fire inside here. I hope so. All right. Place a campfire. Craft and put a fire pit. Oh. A fire pit, not a... Hold on. Is that different? Nothing there. Do we need a thatch bed? Maybe. Okay. Dry, drying line. Proper campfire. I did the wrong one. Okay. That's fine. All right, so wrong one. Let's work on getting a few more supplies. There's a wolf over there. Be careful. Grab that. There's a ton of blueberry bushes here, so we're good on blueberries. I don't think we're going to have full-on go-hungry issues, but we still need to get meat eventually. There we go. Proper campfire. This is the one that we should have done. Put a fire pit and a bed in your shelter. So let's put both these in here. There we go. And then we need a bed. Can I make the actual bed? Probably need some more stuff for that as well. The bed roll we're close to. The bed we're just missing just tall grass. Nice. Okay, we should have everything we need now for the bed. We'll throw the bed down, see if we can finish up this other quest. I like that the endless mode still has some quests for you to do to kind of get you into the game. I think that's a really good addition Home stuff, thatch roof, thatch bed. Oh, still missing a little bit more grass. A lot of it more grass. We've picked up most of it, but it should be respawning on this backside. I didn't even notice like how the weather is up above us. Make sure we're not walking anything crazy. We're actually across the river real quick. I need a little bit more tall grass. We don't need much more. That should put us at 30 something. Just a little bit more and we're there. There we go. That should be it. Since we're over here, we can do a quick check into this area over here. Just watch for wolves. I hear... Hold on, I hear footsteps. Oh. I don't know where it's at. I just hear it. Hiding works pretty well in this game, though. There it is. I see it. Come on. Should be able to... There he is. Right there. 
right in front of us. Please don't turn to me. Okay. I don't feel like he's going very far away. <laughs> Is he tricking me right now? Okay, I need to eat some more of those berries. Oh, we're in thorns. I wondered what that thing was. We're sitting there taking damage. Oh, I hear... Yep, I hear the wolf. Everything's fine. Run. Yep, I know. Water bad. Okay. Will the wolf go into the water? No, it's sniffing for me, though. Alright, I think I have everything I need. Get inside. I actually need to make a drying rack at this point. And we're getting very cold. Eat some food. Alright, hurry. Craft. Boom. Make a bed. Boom. Home sweet home. Alright. Can I make a drying rack? We got an achievement for that. Home scenario. Nice. Okay, loom. We already did. Fire cover. We just need a drying rack. I don't know which one it'd be under. Loom. No. Branch holder. Nice. I didn't realize everything's in these different categories. Okay. Okay, construction. There. Need to eat something. Nope. I know that we can make a drying rack. Where is it? Okay, wooden loom. Drying line. There it is. Okay. Okay, can I put it against that wall? Alright, there we go. Use. Okay, all my stuff is like 90% bad. Uh, light. That gives us seven minutes of time. There you go. We can go like this. Put all of our clothes over there. Let our clothes dry out. If you look at it, you can see what their actual wet wet rating is. Their moisture rating, whatever you want to call it. All right, awesome. Can we save? Is that how that works? Oh, we did. Okay. We're saving right there. All right, we'll let that finish up. Is there anything I can cook on there? Like, can I cook that? Can I cook a sugar, sugar beet? I can. Can I cook a carrot? Let's do the carrot. Okay. Almost dry. Alright, nice. Grab all these. Make sure our guy's geared up. Looking good. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and roasted wild carrot. Eat that. That'll fill everything up a little bit better. Okay. That finishes up like our, our little intro missions. I think that's it for what it's going to guide us through. Shelter, cave. Okay, I don't think there's anything else there. Okay. Very cool. There's still a lot of other stuff that we can craft, but I, I do want to go over here and check this area out. Can I make yet a spear? Because that would be amazing. Uh, hammer, axe, torch. We can do a torch. A torch will at least keep us somewhat safe. What's that? Leg stabilizer. Plain bandage. Let's make that. Okay. I think that's good. And then let me just check these last two. Oh, that's for different foods. And bench crafting. Okay. So we actually need to get a bench going soon. Easy. Okay. I got a leg stabilizer coming up because I think we picked up too much stuff and it broke my leg, I guess. I'm trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out how to... Oh, it's just right click. Oh my god, it's that easy. I think I was splitting the item this whole time. Bedroll, branch. An axe head. We actually have an axe head. Flint. Rock, rope. That, that. We have a walkie talkie still. Okay, that gets me somewhat light. Do I still need to put on this? I don't know if we have to equip it or what. There you go. Leg stabilizer. We used it. 
Okay, we only have a few minutes that we can go over here. We can stay dry if we go this way. So I don't have like a weapon or anything. So we just have to be really careful and run if we have to. Stop falling in the water. All right. There you go. Okay, I would love to be able to break any of this apart if we can. No. Definitely grab what we can. Oh, there's a wolf. Hold on. Nope. Nothing I can take apart. Lockpick. Fishing. Moonshine. Metal scrap. Doesn't look like I can take any of that apart. All right, wolf is going that way. We're going to go this way. Okay. Why do I hear the growling, but I don't see him? Okay, nail box. I hear you. <laughs> I'm going to just hope that I can be up here and you can't get up here. So nothing else is stuff I can grab up here. What's up, dude? We got the little predator symbol. Interesting. We'll kind of just wait and see what he does. Okay. Dollar coin. All right. Awesome. Cooking pot, nice. Found a couple good things over here. Dollar coin. There's also food over here, but I'm gonna wait to pick it until we need it, need it. Because we can use it. It basically stays fresh in there. We have to worry about it ex expiring, I assume. Alright, we're gonna go back to the little base. We can sleep through the night now, which is nice. So I'm just gonna do some around the base gathering. Try and stay as safe as possible. Try not to stay in the dark too much. And maybe chop down just a little bit of trees. Maybe expand the base just slightly. And see what else we need to make. There you go, man. Starter base looking good. Looks like there's tons of area to explore that way. We're pretty locked into this little valley, though. Very cool, man. I don't know if this place eventually gets unsafe. I'm going to light this up just to get it nice and beautiful in here. All right, let me look through our other crafting stuff. Uh, we did get a few adaptations. These are what looks like the new skills unlocked. Bedroll, bandage, lake stabilizer, tall rope grass, fiber, okay. We got new skill unlocked perk, slightly reduce the risk of fall, okay. We got section two, skinning knife, wooden chest, branch holder, proper campfire, and fire cover. Uh, this one gives me some better clothes. Winter hat, winter gloves, a couple other cool things. Clothes. We got quite a few. Wow. Thirst proof slightly increases the thirst pool. Section three, we got sewn winter jacket and pants, a better bandage, meat pile, and the drying line, which we already made. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I know. We're about to eat. We got all the thatch stuff that we already saw. Okay. Come on. Oh, we got a lot of perks on this one. Slightly increase the energy pool. Nice. Section four. A glue stick. So we can check out what we need for glue stick. Sap tap. Oh, we got to do a sap tap, I bet. Sap tap. We need more supplies for that. Okay. All right, what is this? We've got soft plank. Carpentry station. There we go. Carpentry station will be nice. Start getting into some better things there. And it looks like this goes away. It goes away. Excuse me. 12 and 13. Very cool. All right. On the loom, that's where we make our fabric, th thread, the better clothing. Cool. And so I can make a couple of these other benches already. We would just need to get our supplies together for it. Carpentry station. Branch. Glue stick. So glue stick's the only one I'm not sure on. Glue stick. Glue stick. 
So glue stick is made on the mortar pestle. It's charcoal, sap, and fresh water. Awesome. So I need to figure out how to get sap. Okay. Very, very cool, man. That's not a bad start. We definitely got a much better start in this one than we did in the story. Yeah, I know. We, we get a little scared at night. All right. We did get a torch made up. We can grab that. Where's our torch? Sharpened soft stick. Oh, we actually do have a weapon. Okay. And torch. There we go. I don't know how long exactly this lasts. Let's see. Press B to empty hands. Q to go instinct mode. I wonder if I can build my own little bridge across. But they can probably go across it too. Okay. Put that away. Okay, here we go. We did it. Okay, obviously it's auto impale, so we didn't really do anything. But we got it. Oh, God, it's not over. I thought it would be over. <laughs> it is not over. It is not over. Turn, turn, dude. He's getting close to dead. Okay, come on. Do the thing. There's no way he's not dead yet. What is going on? Oh, he finally died. Okay. That was crazy. All right. How do I... I don't really know. What do I do here? Okay, hold on. I didn't mean to eat right now. Hold on. Tab. I. We need the skinning knife. But I can't put that as a... What would I just do with it? Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay. Skin. G. Oh, loot. Take all. And then... Skin is G. Take all. Okay, we got a little bit of stuff out of it. Nice. Alright, that leaves blood everywhere, so I'm going to assume that that's going to bring bad things with it. So let's go just a little bit longer. I don't want to stay too long in today's episode. I will definitely get more into it as we go. Ooh, a shovel. Okay, we got some type of adaptation. There's a tower way up there. There's stairs or something over there. I need... One more metal scrap. There was something else we wanted to make. I, I can't think of what it is now. Need this that I can pick up. Can I break any of it? Nope. Get all that. I also don't know how we got everything on the left to have a number on it, but we've got numbers over there now. Okay. I'm gonna assume there's bad things up here because all the hiding spots. Go right up in here. Okay. That looked like it was something. Grab those. Definitely grab these. Use this. Cool. There's a cool looking shack up there. That's going to be where we go today. Let's go knock this out. Rose fruit. I wonder if that stuff at the farm respawns. Like, maybe I should be grabbing it. Alright, grab that. Grab that. Okay. Grab those. I'm sure, we're getting a little bit heavy. Our guy is definitely getting cold. <laughs> I didn't want to look in the bathroom. That was weird. All right. We got to go way down there to get up there. Oh, we got something here. Take all. All right. I think we can make a little jump. We can. Good job. Okay, we'll have to check that out. Can I dismantle anything up here? No. So I guess just the starter area was the only place that I could dismantle stuff. All right, well, let's check out the super scary cave. This is a good idea. All right, let's 
go. Can't I... Can we not? I thought we could climb in this game. Like if I put this away. Come on. Put everything down. Hmm. I see that. I, I bet we have to pull that to us somehow. Oh, we, we can almost make it. Okay, well, I'm going to get out of the cave. Oh, we're still in Q mode. Interesting. Probably a way to do something inside there, but we'll come back to it. All right. Oh, God, I hear you. Yep. Did they jump off with us? <laughs> I don't know if they did or not. Oh, look at that. Okay, everything's fine. Okay. Everything is fine. We're fine. No reason to panic. All right, so we did get a shovel on this trip, too. Oh, there's like two or three wolves all spawned in together. Okay, so that's a no. I don't remember. We checked inside here, right? I think he can. All right, oh, stench. Oh, is it the dead animal? Is it that? I bet it is. Or is it us? I don't know. Oh, you know what? It's us. We have to wash. Hold on. So we have to go like this. There's a good chance that my guy could die from this, but we go like this. We take everything off. And then we hold the wash. We get the stench off us. That's right. Okay. I couldn't remember how to do that. Oh, my flashlight's still on. My bad. There you go. Get rid of the stench. Still got a little bit. Do it one more time. This should completely get rid of it. Alright. And I don't know if this water is safe to drink. Let's go for it. See what happens. We didn't die. All is good. Alright. Put your clothes back on. Cool. Probably have to go dry off. That was probably a little bit cold. Awesome, man. I, I think that's a good first day adventure. There you go. Endless mode. I prefer endless mode. I, I like story-driven stuff, but I really like the endless mode. You know, we're all about just playing like fun survival games. I think this definitely fits that for us. Let's put a bunch of branches over there. Give us at least a minute or two. Light up. All right, then we can use this. Get everything dry. And we can do some wolf meat. There we go. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode. I'm definitely going to play some more of this. Let me know if you want to see more of it. I would like to do maybe a, maybe a mini series on it. Go at least a few days in this and see where we can get with it. If it gets good reception, we'll keep going. But if not, we're going to drop it. And just keep with the games that we're going with now. Enshrouded, Seven Days to Die, and Myth of Empires. See you in the next episode. Thank you so much, guys.